so this is a question from chapter blood relation so this is from reasoning part right so blood relation question asked by upsc in cset paper of 2020 right so in blood relation as i told you many times like we represent female by the circle rectangle will represent male right and this equal sign among male and female will represent spouse relation right and this vertical line will represent the generation and this horizontal line will denote the siblings right so let's read the question a family of two generation right so how many generations are there two generations consisting of six members p q r s t u has three male and three female so there are total six member out of this six three are male and three are female right so there are two married couples so there are two married couples right so there will be two married couples like this so here we have two female and two male right so how many are remaining two are remaining so they will be one male and one female right because total we have three male so two male are here so one male here three and three female first second and third right so two married couples here and two unmarried siblings so these are unmarried these one right so these are unmarried siblings now u is the p's daughter so u is the daughter of so we know the gender of u because they have given it's a daughter of p but we don't know the gender of p right so in the female section we can write u okay and q is q is r's mother in law so q will come because there are two generation only so this is generation 1 this is generation 2 right and they have given that q is r's mother in law so r will come here and q will come here because we have only two generation and q is the mother in law so we know the gender of q female so the female we will write q right but we don't know the gender of r now p is an unmarried male so i told you like here like we have one female and one male unmarried so they have given t t t is a male who is unmarried right so he is unmarried so t will come where t will come he can come here also in the generation first also in the generation 2 also right now they have given s is a male so s is also given s is also a male right so now we have this information so now we have to find out which one of the following is correct so in message our options may say kaun sa options sahi hai right so ab they have given two married couples so here will be one in the generation one we will have married couple and in the generation two also we will have married couple why because r is r is what r is the daughter in law uh, maybe daughter in law or maybe son in law because we know q is the mother in law right so what we can do like they are related right so in this way right so q has some daughter or son who is married to r so the way pe char log to aa gaye and now we are remaining two right तो क्योंकि टोटल हमारे पे सिक्स हैं हाउ मेनी पीपल वी आर हैविंग सिक्स सो जनरेशन वन में क्यू क्यू विल मैरी समवन सो क्यू विल मैरी होम पी बिकॉज पी इज एयर इन द जनरेशन वन ओनली राइट बिकॉज दे हैव गिवन लाइक देयर इज अ वन फैमिली ओनली बिकॉज दे हैव गिवन क्यू इज द क्यू इज मदर इन लॉ दे हैव गिवन हियर राइट सो क्यू विल मैरी होम क्यू विल मैरी पी इफ राइट सो पी विल बी द मेल पी विल बी द मेल राइट नाउ व्हाट इज रिमेनिंग वी गॉट P Q R S is also given male, right? And T is unmarried, so T cannot come here. So who will come here? The S will come here, right? Here, because R will be a woman because there are three men, three women, right? So R cannot marry you. So R will marry S. S is a male, right? And R will be a woman. Okay, and they have given. that there are two unmarried siblings so they are siblings right because we know t is unmarried and t is a male so t will come here right 
so in this way we can draw the diagram so this is looks a bit tricky right but if you will look into this thing like there are three female and three male and they, there can only be two generation then you can draw this diagram okay so now the question is asking option a r is use husband so r is a husband of u that's not possible because both are female so r is s wife so this is correct option b s is unmarried s is married so option c is wrong right so the answer is option b so option b is the right answer i hope you aapko sabko samajh mein aa gaya hoga if you guys still have some issues in that so you can connect with us and i will explain you this question personally right through whatsapp through call you can connect with us